Well, and welcome to Spice TV, Andy and Ryan, or Ryan and Andy, whichever way you want to go around. How are we going, boys? All right? Uh, not bad. Cool. Uh, obviously, we had a weekend break, because uh, of international call-ups and all that kind of thing. Uh, but I think one of the pleasing results that uh, can come for a Barnsley fan, uh, Andy, is uh, a certain Forest Green Rovers beating a certain neighbours. What's your take yeah. on that one, mate? I love Forest Green. They're good, aren't they? They're great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Um, I was speaking to my mate at work and uh, who was a Wednesday fan and uh, yeah, I said he watched it and the, apparently they played rubbish So uh, mm -hmm. Wednesdays. So, uh, yeah, whether they're still hungover from uh, when we get them as tonking, I don't know. Um, but it, it's blown it all up and down at top, um, which is good. It's made it more interesting. At back end of the season, um, yeah, all to play for. Um, let's just stop. Uh, like your Plymouth uh, can have a bit of a stumble, and uh, we carry on. Because yeah. you, you don't know, <laughs> it's not impossible. Um, second spot, yeah, but put a run together, might be looking a little bit further. You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Bit of tonking, Ben uh, Ryan. Uh, suffering from a bit of tonking, eh? That for a bit, mate. But uh, yeah, I get where you're coming from with that. I mean, 23 games unbeaten. Uh, now we've lost twice on Bop. And again, is it this kind of season? Just been on about it to Andy off air. I'm looking at April and the amount of games coming up in April, thick and fast, midweek, weekend, bank holidays, you name it. Is it kind of thing that obviously our form is up there in a monster, uh, Ryan? Well, it's with yeah. teams around us, what, seeing what they're going to do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what a fantastic result for us that way yesterday. Um, to be fair, I'd, I'd been to football to, to watch my son play football and, and I got back and my brother texted me and went, have you seen this? And I went, oh, no, I don't see it. Then he rung me, have you seen it's gone? Oh, I said, I passed yeah. it. And then I stuck it on Sky then and watched the last 10 minutes. I couldn't believe it. They look, they look flat, didn't they, Wednesday? Yeah. They're just lumping it in and it's probably Scream seemed to deal with it quite relatively easily didn't they so uh, yeah but I mean look what form team in, what, what form team in, in the division in fact what form team in England out of all four divisions best you know best you so there's no reason why we can't we can't go on like Andy says you know I'm looking at second place but could it could it could it be even better I think probably one of them will probably hold on Plymouth or Wednesday I hope it's Plymouth and not Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> For, for obvious reasons, but Ipswich have also, you know, Ipswich are playing well as well, so it's going to be a really mm. interesting finish, isn't it? It's going to be an interesting yeah. finish, but we've got a really good run in, you know, we've got probably a couple of difficult games, what class is really difficult games in there, um, with Ipswich at home and Peterborough at home, but they are both at home, and if you look at his recent home form, you know, we're not, we're, we're not, to, we shouldn't be, you know, we shouldn't be scared of anybody really at home. But, you know, it's easy to say, it's also easy to say having an easy run of fixtures, we've just seen Wednesday get beat by a forest green, so no one's ever, no one's ever for certain, is it? No. no. <coughs> Especially in this league, like I said, Via, I mean, X to one five note at weekend. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we've got to look at other results and about what we can do, and it's all about what we do. Uh, just going back to you, then, Andy, I mean, X to... Good win for them, you know, mm. against the uh, Ackerton side, five note, yeah, fighting for the own their own cause, teams down and about there, and we'll come on to a few games coming up in April, just what Ryan were on about there with, uh, you know, some hard games, and not necessarily against the biggest, the bigger sides, the bigger teams in the league, but League One, you can throw up a, an upset, just like we saw Forest Green against Sheffield Wednesday, uh, bottom of the league. So yeah. again, you know, come to Exeter game, Andy, away, you know, uh, tr a tricky game in its own right for distance, for fans, uh, for preparation. I know we've got a weekend off, but I how do you see this win, uh, Andy? Well, I said before these running games were coming up. Um, if you remember on video, I said in a strange way, the game that I do <coughs> fear a little bit is Exeter because I think it's a potential banana skin. Um, you know, midweek, long way to go. Um, and I think they're on a good little run as well, um, I believe, especially at their place. So they're going to make it tough. Um, it's, it's, I don't think it'll be a pretty game. Um, 
but it shows that we can adapt as well. But uh, yeah, th- these games you, you can't take you can't take lightly. Um, and you know, I think any Wednesday, if I didn't tell you that from yesterday. Um, mm. So we've got to we've got to be on it tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll be full of confidence and rightly so. Um, but yeah, as you've said, uh, this league it throws up a lot of surprises. Um, but yeah, uh, like I say, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a tough one me tomorrow. I honestly do. Tough game against Exeter Ryan. I mean, I, I saw stats somewhere knocking about on social media on about the amount of bookings some of Bounds players on, and if they pick yeah. up a, a, a yellow card, it potential you know could could hurt us come April. Um, I saw someone say, well, if this game come right in one reason, but not in another, we could have played the system and got a, you know, played for a yellow card. So it worked out in our favour against certain, you know, games where players were going to potentially miss. Yeah. Uh, this is coming up. But how do you see extra game going for Barnsley travelling, <laughs> uh, you know, travelling distance, Ryan? Oh, well, it's, it's, it's never going to be, it's never ideal, is it? Yeah. But I think that last time, didn't they send lads down day four? So. And they were yeah, setting, I'm, I'm hoping, yeah, apparently they're setting off on, on Monday. That's what they're doing, yeah. Right, brilliant. Well, that's that that, that helps, doesn't it? Because you've not had a long you've not had a long mm. distance, you know. You, 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 know, you know, you know it's like when you do a long journey yourself. You don't you you knack it out you once you think <laughs> whether you're driving yeah. or not. It's so it's hard. But I mean, listen, it's opportunity knocks, isn't it? It's opportunity over to Barnsley now. We're we're six points behind Wednesday. We've got a game in hand, and that's his game in hand tomorrow night. We win that, we're three points behind them, and it's game on. And it's game on. To think that we were 11 points behind them two weeks ago. <laughs> do you think, Ryan, that, like you said, Via, it's, it's about extra motivation. About Do you think, it's not as if they need motivation, but you, you, you can't imagine Duff like getting it into them as well, the importance of this game. Is, you know, I hope so. I, of course, game. I mean, yeah, of course it will be, won't it? I mean, it, like I say, it's our, it's our opportunity now. It's our opportunity to close a gap on them top two. One of the games mm. in hand that we've got on um, Plymouth, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll pull it pull it down to five points on Plymouth and three points on Wednesday. And that's game on. That's absolutely game on. Because they, they were miles in front of them too. Mm. And you know, a bit, bit of dodgy form from them both. And you know, obviously Plymouth have played more games than us. And you know, it's it's a massive opportunity for us. But you know, extra a, a good side at home. They've won the last few at home, haven't they? The, 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 a bit of in different form away. But having said that, they beat us and rightly so on all the, you know, the they did a proper job on us at Oakwall. You know, granted it for a long time ago. Um, it really does in season, won't it? Um, but you know, I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll have that confidence on, on beating us um earlier on in season. But for me, I just think we've got to win it, Neil. We've got to win it. I think as form, their position in league, our position in league, you know, if we're serious serious contenders about going up automatic. It draws no good then, right? Good, yeah. And do a job. <coughs> points, however, that however that happens to be, I think I don't think we'll I don't think we'll thump them at all. I think it'll be tight. I think there might be a goal in it, but a draw, no good. Oh, I think I think in a way, points always a good away point. I think hmm. um, you know, not, not going out and not getting beat is away from home. Is usually a good result. It depends on what time it's season. But I mean, just with Wednesday getting beat by Forest Green when we were, nobody were expecting that in a million years. Yeah. It's massively open door for us to close that gap, and then they are look. They are literally just looking over the shoulder now. When you've got an eleven point gap, you know it's comfortable, isn't it? It's all right. We don't. I suppose you don't want to lose, but it don't matter if you do. You've got it's. You're more comfortable with your football, but when it's three points, it's going to always be back of your mind, always back of your subconscious thinking. Christ, they're close to us. They're getting closer. We cannot slip up, and that's when mistakes can creep in, isn't it? Nervousness, you know, it's. Can you hold on? To, can you hold on to your bottle? So massive opportunity for us tomorrow night, and we've got to go and get three points for me. Get three points, Andy. I mean, just going following on from uh, Ryan, what he just said there. I mean, good point what he made and all. To be fair, extra play does it all well and did a job mm. on us. But yeah. you look at the points, like what Andy said, uh, what Ryan said there, Andy, is that now the gap is it's in single fingers. It's not like double digits now, isn't it? So again. We're hunting down the pack, and the pack's getting closer. So, going on from what Ryan said, there, Andy, what's your take on that, mate? Yeah, totally agree. Um, I mean, I've always got confidence in us, whoever we play, but uh, I never thought we'd uh, catch them up like we have done. Um, 
it reminds me in a strange way that season when uh, we started at the bottom of the league and you know went up in yeah. playoffs. It reminds me a bit of that uh, of that season. Um, but yeah, Ryan's right. You know, um, momentum's in our favour. Ball's in our court. We've just got to take it to them now. Take every game uh, to opposition um, and get a go. Um, and yeah, like like Ryan says as well, Wednesday's now. Uh, you know, they'll be looking at other results, which you know they hadn't been doing because they've had that little bit of a buffer. Um, so yeah, pressure's back on them, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a good uh, it's a good place to be. Good place to be, Ryan. I mean, would you make any changes uh, for extra game? Because bearing in mind we had weekend off. Coming from you know a fantastic win against Wednesday, you know under lights and that. I personally, I won't make any changes. I'd, I'd keep it as it is. Uh, don't know what your take on it is, Ryan. Would, would you make any changes? Yeah, not at all. Give yeah. it as it is. That, that side that played that played against Wednesday, I think, is probably the strongest eleven. Yeah, that, that we play. I, I know there's that argument where we know would be on. He's on nine bookings in here, and, and after <coughs> is it 29th at month. So after 29th yeah. of the month, if you get 10 bookings before 29th of the month, it's two game ban, isn't it? Oh, so I understand yeah. what they're saying there, but listen, it's I don't think it's the point in the season to be, you know, um being cautious. I think it's it's time to, you know, we we've we've come this far playing the way that we play and picking the team, you know, picking the strongest eleven. We've come this far in the season to change it on the chat off the hand chance that somebody might get a booking and might get a two game ban. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the right way. Um, mm. You know, I'd be playing Norwood, and I don't. Is there anybody else that's on nine bookings? I'm not sure. Probably Kitchen. He books up. He picks up a few. I think it, we're up there <laughs> amongst it. Luke Connell were not far off again. You know, early early bookings throughout season, and yeah. my my take on some of them bookings and all some of them were like juvious. You know what I mean? But don't Neil, I don't think it's the right thing to do. Um, you know, just ask not just. I suppose even asking him to to go out and be a bit cautious. Just you know, he don't he don't get a, he don't get booked every game, does he? Just go and play your game, and if he gets a yellow, he gets a yellow, doesn't he? And, hmm. and we'll deal with it after that. But like I said, I don't think it's any time point of the season to be, especially with the importance of the game now, with the door being open, the door of opportunity being open for us. Now, play strongest eleven. Let's go down and win. Let's go. Let's go down and win that game. Go down and win that game, Andy. I mean. <laughs> Again, following on from what Ryan said, there you can't be thinking about we are winning formally, or would you on possibility? And he said because when you look at like where it goes coming from, it's from a variety, even off at bench. You know, we yeah. were just coming off and you know knocking in with goals. Luke, Luke Thomas knocking on door, creating and gaining a goal. So again, would you be thinking about or leave it as it is? And you know, ascendancy is we us. Let's let's take it to him. Yeah, I'd, I'd keep it exactly the same. Um, I can't see any reason why we should tinker it. I think um, probably only temptation that I would uh, change, but I'm not saying that we should, is probably Thomas. I think Thomas has been brilliant um, coming back uh, from injury. Uh, it looks like he's not miss, missed a beat to me. Um, I think he's very, very close, uh, definitely pushing for um, a starting place, but when team is winning, no, not just put him in for sake on it. Um, yeah. but apart from that, no, and, and keep it exactly the same whether uh Norwood picks up a yellow or not. Like Ryan said, no, you, you keep with your strongest, um, strongest team. Um, so yeah, same for me. Yeah, I agree, I agree with what you're saying, both in your light. I mean. So winning team, winning form, Leah, and if you start looking at like, oh, if in case he gets a booking, if he, if if you started doing that, you could look back and think, you know, we've only picked up a point here rather than three. You know, hindsight's a great thing. Oh yeah, but we didn't play no. in case he picked it up, it could cost us that mm. than few points. So <coughs> again, I, I get where you're coming from. Me personally, I don't make any changes apart from if there's any niggles or any fifty fifties. But I I don't think there's all been done about it. I don't think there's I think all players came through it unscathed. Yeah. I get where you're coming from, Andy, about Luke Thomas. And again, it shows you the 
their eagerness and their, their strength on the squad when they're pushing players and then players yeah. in starting 11, if they have a bit of an off game or even a, a, an off first half, they'll be off. I mean, I'm not just singling Devante a call out, but he did it over week and he took a call off and brought, you know, so he uh, made change with Ted, uh, Tedich, came in on, mm. uh, coming on. So again, and like what uh, Duff said, he didn't take it personally, he understood it what for better at team. And that's what you want to see scoring fourth goal against Sheffield Wednesday. Everybody ran on pitch and that's togetherness for you. So yeah, for me, keep keep side as it is. Ryan, going back to you, mate. I mean, you keep it side as it is, score, and who do you think will be most in, most influential, important player for us on night? Um, well, score, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one 0 I think it's gonna be close. So I'm gonna say one 0 Um <coughs> Most influential play, player. Do you know what? Because we've been talking about him and saying, is he going to get? Is he going to come out and get a yellow? Is he going to? Could he possibly get a yellow? Let's play him and hope he goes down as an absolute belter and gets the winner. So I'm going to go with Norwood. Norwood, uh, Andy. Just going back to you. I mean, just what I was saying there. I mean, bearing in mind, but you know, it's getting harder and harder to pick man at match. It's a bit unfair saying influential player, but I mean, you looked at catching Mads. For call mm. out, so I love it. Play, I love it. Pitch for different players in him, but I'm right. I mean, your school prediction, mate, and the most influential player for you on the night. Yeah, I'm going to go for one nil. Um, actually, I don't think it was going to be many in it. A bit unlike um, you, but Andy, you were, I think you've been supping on Wappy Juice over the week when you said we're going to thrash him. Ah, but I got four right. <laughs> you got four right, <laughs> mate. You did. I got I got four right. Yeah, I, I, just, I think you uh, want too many chair it. shots you would have been taking via, mate. But yeah, yeah I, hear I just, that. <laughs> I just didn't realise we were going to give two consolation goals, that's all. Uh-huh. Um, um, <laughs> but to be different, I'm going to go for 2 1, I think, just to be different. Um, 2 1. Right. Yeah, and um, important player. It, it's a difficult one to pick anybody out where we've been playing. Um, I think I'm going to go for Herbie Kane uh, to supply. Uh, balls took forwards. Um, I think that's what you know what what we need. Um, mm. And again, uh, Kane. I think he's been well. He looks like a different player to me than to what we've seen Improving. before. Uh, he can tell his, he wants to play for manager. So yeah, uh, became for me tomorrow. It became, yeah. Uh, I want to go three one Barnsley. I think if we can set off on the same foot like we have been doing. Uh, we were always like 10 15 minutes we're on it. I think if we can get a goal in, in, in that period of time, I think we can be on it. I get where, you, where Ryan's coming from. I mean, we're all going for Barnes wins and we're not taking out away from Exeter. You know, they had a great five five note win at weekend, but we've got a decent home record. But I think with the, the importance of game, we know Destiny's in his own hands, it's more incentive. Um, and again. I'm just hoping that we do set off. And I think if we do set off and we get a goal within 20 minutes, I think we can take it back a bit more. I think it'll require Exeter to come out and try and take us a bit more. And I think we'll have it in his locker to try and break him on, on counter with pace and speed, what we've got with Williams and Matt Bobbing forward and Cadden. You've got Kitchen popping up, you know, you know it'll late on in, in game against Wednesday. So I'm going 3-1 Barnsley. And... I'm going to go with what Ryan said. I get where you're coming from. You know, you could have said Luke Connell or Herbie Kane. I think they're complimenting. But I think Norwood will have a big part to play in this. Whether it be scoring goals or running off a ball, creating goals, fetching such as Phillips in and Devante Cole. For me, Norwood, for, I know he's out of contract. For me, we ought to extend it regardless. Yeah. Uh, I think now he's come up, up to his sharpness. You could see what he's trying to do. Off football, not just on it, but um, he's very in and everywhere trying to bring others into it. And he knows what to do. He knows what to get a, get a foul and in mm. linos and refs here. So for me, I think Norwood will have a, will have a big part to play. And not taking out away from Harry Eastead, Mads, uh, you know, Bobby Thomas. You could go away through pitch, even Williams bombing forward and that. They, they all play the part and they're all influential and they're all right. But I think on the night, me, I think it'd be Norwood. Uh, so good shout outs to you know what you've said here. 
X2, we come away. We'll have a quick look out about Mark and coming up. I mean, two no respectful teams, but two different teams in their own right. We both come to Oakwell early on in the season, and you know, uh, extra came to Oakwell, Markham, you know, been away via kind of thing. And it's a tri the tricky sides, aren't with them too. And yeah. you play such as like Wednesday and your Portsmouths and that, uh, mm -hmm. guys. I mean, I'll open it up both to you. They're going to be two interesting, difficult games in their own right, aren't we? Yeah, I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a challenge for them to work it out, isn't it? Uh, you know, for different styles. I mean, the more I went to Markham away game, and it were, I mean, we didn't, we didn't. To be fair, they made it difficult, but also we didn't, we didn't turn up. It were, it weren't, yeah. it, it weren't as best ninety minutes, was it? But um, we should. I mean, we are being disrespectful. We should, we should be beating them. But yeah, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be uh, uh, Sorry, it's going to be interesting to see how they manage the challenge of playing sides that will come to. Yeah. Stop us from playing if you like, <coughs> as opposed to sides that like to play football, like your derbies and Wednesdays and Portsmouth, where we've you know, and Plymouth, where we've done really well against them because it's sort of their, their style of football is great and it's great to watch, but it plays into our you know, plays into our hands how we want to play. It's but how do how do we then manage against these teams that come to spoil? So it's an interesting, interesting challenge for them, I think. Yeah, yeah, Andy. You more or less echo of that because you look after that as well. You've got such as Burton and Shrewsbury, Forest, Forest Green, Lincoln City. Them kind of teams are going to be down there, there about fighting for a different cause, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, um, totally agree with what Mine's just said. I also think as well, um, we, we need to pack it out. Well, Art, whoever we're playing now till end of season, whether it's Wednesdays, Morecambe, or Makes whoever. Mm. Yeah, and that does give you that extra man if you want. Um, so that's what I'm hoping that us fans can do. Um, it's it's not just down to club and players now, it's down to us to get yeah. really behind them at home games. And yeah, whether we're playing a so-called unattractive team, um, it don't matter. Let, let's, uh, you know, let's pat out well out again and... Uh, Get lads to push on and get us up, uh, get us up this season because we've got a brilliant chance now. Yeah. I think it's a good point to rest on that. I mean, you know what you just said there, Pat Ortwell. Art, regardless who we're playing, let's be to uh, extra man. Let's give him, you know, get lads a uh, uh, final push. Let's let's do it. Let's get back up in the championship. Yeah. We're in a good ascendancy. Forms on his side. Momentum is going for us, and I think all associated with Bounty Football Club, us on here, uh, fans behind the scenes and players, everybody's in it together, and I think you can sense from it in there what's happening. Uh, so yeah, good, good shot, uh, Ryan and uh, Andy. Appreciate you taking your time out as always. Please like, subscribe, and share. Okay. Leave your comments in uh, section below. What do you think score is going to be? Uh, do you agree? Disagree? It's going to be a draw. Going to be a win? Are we going to tonk them? As uh, what Andy had said earlier on, but let's, let's give him a good old thrashing, a good tonking. It's meant to have them uh, old saints for a bit, but yeah, we'll, uh, we're gonna get some tonkings. But uh, Andy and Ryan, appreciate you taking time out. I know it's been busy and that light, so uh, appreciate you taking one thing left to say you Reds. <laughs>